So today guys we take a look at a brand new legendary called the Mistriant. Today I will review the weapon, give you guys my thoughts on it and also showcase the one very spot you can farm for this thing. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like it really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So the Miscreant is a new pistol belonging to the Vedaf pistol family. So what's that now? One of three? We also have another one within this DLC. So there's only four in total. There's this, there's the Infinity Pistol, the Magnificent and the fourth which I will cover soon. Well I will straight up state. This is definitely the best in its family so far, not taking into account that fourth by the way. Those are like peasants to this king, for sure, in terms of what they offer besides farming money barrels. So this miscreant is a very very good weapon if I'm honest and actually using it for a while now I've grown to really enjoy it. Definitely one of the better ones from this DLC I've used so far. So it shoots what are basically rockets that explode on impact. But when you shoot them, they do this kind of swirling motion and if you ain't close enough to a target, hitting them in the face may be a little difficult. Now it has two firing modes, a standard full auto and a double barrel. Standard full auto we see gradually speeds up in terms of fire rate the longer you shoot it. Double barrel on the other hand consumes two ammo per shot, but that ultimate fire rate is already there. Now obviously double barrel makes it way harder to handle and switching between the two you feel a massive difference in the handling. Now for the purposes of this video I did roll at big head mode and even still for the most part I was having a little trouble trying to keep all shots hitting that head within that double barrel mode especially when you are moving around. Now it's downfall is how much ammo it does consume I mean yes it's pretty powerful and with the right setup to go alongside this it I feel will take on and many people will properly use it. Me personally I went the route on Zane using the cut purse and the fish slap grenade paired with a few points into duct tape mod and that drone delivery selected just so I never run out of ammo. But taking a different route when using this thing make sure you have ways to place that ammo back because before you know it, you will run out of it. Now there are two times variants of this thing also. Interestingly, when switching to double barrel modes on that two times variant, it seems as though it still only consumes two ammo per shot. So on the two times, it makes sense that you keep it within that double barrel mode for maximum DPS. Now the weapon, as far as I know, comes in radiation, incendiary and cryo. Also available with no element. I farmed for hours for this and never came across a shark or corrosive version. Not to say they don't exist, I just haven't seen one yet. Now after spending days on this third DLC, thanks to Gearbox allowing me to play it early, I think I can confirm this drops from one place and one place only, as I've never had it outside of this boss. The boss is the Quartermaster, who is located upon Gihana within the Blood Sun Canyon. A location to him you'll find at the end of the video, which will be in a second. So this miscreant, the new Vladov pistol, Definitely the best of the three and in my opinion definitely worth you making the time to go farm and get this thing. It isn't the best pistol in the game, but I feel it will be a very useful weapon for certain builds out there. On screen now we can see the route to the quarter master. Go get this thing guys. On that note we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it leaving a like it really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video or upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.
Ooh. 